Hello, it's Monday. It's not even Monday morning, it's already afternoon. I had a complicated morning. Um, welcome to the final chapter of the math book, in which we leave the fractions behind, we leave the, what else have we done, the decimals behind, um, we leave division behind, and now it's all about geometry, shapes and symbols. Um, geometry. I loved geometry. Um, when I was in high school, my geometry teacher uh, wrote the book. Uh, he was literally the person who wrote the textbook that we had, and, and obviously he loved geometry, and it was so much fun to have a teacher who loved it. He dressed up as a wizard one day uh, to explain his favorite theorem, the Pythagorean theorem. Which I don't think we're going to get to, uh, sad to say, because that's later for high school. We're only in fifth grade, for goodness sakes. So, um, this chapter is going to be lots of uh, drawing, lots of measuring, lots of shapes. Um, it's going to be pretty relaxed. Uh, end of the school year, um, you get to draw a lot in this one. Um, let's look at what you got here on pages 903 to 906. It is an introduction. Polygons. Lesson one, polygons. Polygons is one of those words that you'll never use. It's true. You'll never say, why is that? Is that a polygon? Why, yes, that is a polygon. Um, though, different polygons that we do use, triangle, is that, uh, we use that word a lot, rectangle, square, uh, and you'll notice some as we go through, like, oh, I've seen that before. We use that shape regularly in real life. Um, so anyways, lots of shapes. Relax. It's all going to be okay. Uh, let's look at the, okay, there's some, some vocabulary on this first page that is going to get us, um, uh, okay, first of all, polygons, not polygons. Polygons all have straight sides. Not like that oval. It's not a polygon. Polygons are all enclosed. There's not. They're not open. This one, the, the wavy, and this one's got two enclosed sides. It is just one enclosed space. It's a box. Whatever shape the box is, that's a polygon. Um, a regular polygon has is a polygon with congruent sides and congruent angles. Congruent sides are equal in length. So congruent is just a fancy geometry word for meaning the same, equal. They're all the same size. Uh, let's look at one. There's not even a picture of a, well, I guess that picture of the pentagon. They're congruent sides, all the sides, the same length. And the angles. What's an angle? You don't know what an angle is, right? An angle is when two lines meet each other. When this line and this line meet each other, it creates an angle. A little tiny one, an acute angle. Like that one is called a 90 degree angle. And a big one is an obtuse angle. We'll get into more of that later. Uh, but angles is simply just two lines meet. What's, the, what's that shape? That they made a little tiny one, little tiny one, big one. Um, so congruent just means everything's the same. Uh, the sides are all the same, and how they meet each other, the angles that they form are all the same. Fancy word that again, congruent. Don't really use it in real life, except in math class. Um, do, 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 determine the, uh, example number two: determine if the polygon appears to be regular or not regular. Well, is it regular? Are all the sides the same? It doesn't look like it to me. It looks like they have two different sides. And also, they don't have the angles, the way the angles meet each other. They're not the same either. So that would not be a regular uh, polygon. Uh, let's look at our next page, shall we? There's those shapes. You got the triangle. Here's a regular one. All the sides are the same. All the angles are the same. This one... Sides are different lengths. Uh, square, what's it called? Quadrilateral. Quadra, like four. My cat is knocking around my computer. Cat. 
she likes to where is she? There she is. She likes to um, rub her head up against the side of the computer, which is not good when you're recording a video. Uh, quadrilateral, four sides, squares, rectangles, and we're getting a lot. Of, there's a there's a bunch of other ones. Four is pretty pretty popular. Got lots of different variations. Um, five sides, pentagon. Pentagon is five sides. Penta meaning five back in Latin days. Hexagon, six sided. Hex. Yeah, hexagon, six sided. Uh, octagon, octopus. How many sides? Eight. You recognize that symbol, that, that shape, right? When you're driving around, that's always what sign. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Stop, stop, you know. Um, guided practice. Okay, so um, in each, okay, that's over here. You got to look at each one, uh, and it says name each polygon. Count the sides. That's it. If it has four sides, it's what? This one's tricky because you got one, two, three, four, five, six. That is actually a six-sided, which is called what? <laughs> is this one regular? No. It's got different lengths of the sides. How about four? That looks pretty darn regular to me. Actually, I think this one's regular too. It's just turned at an angle. Um, so to name it, you have to count the sides. Is it regular? Are every, is everything the same? Are all the sides the same? Are all the angles where they meet the same? Then it's regular. Uh, what else? Oh, and you get to draw. Lots of drawing. You guys to be drawing lots. That's, I think that's one of the things I liked about geometry is that you got to draw things and you got to look at shapes. That's our last page. Let's go to our last page. What polygons make up the design? This is classic bathroom tile floor design. You all recognize, you've, you have you have looked down on the floor of a bathroom and seen that design before. Usually like the, the green ones would be white and those would be black. Um, so what's the, again, count the sides and that tells you what it is. Here's nice, map looks like New York City to me. I don't guess it's New York City. Oh yeah, yeah, oh Union Square. Yeah, yeah. oh New York City. God, it makes me wanna travel. When you can't do things, it makes you want to do them even more. There's a great Thousand One Nights story about that. Like, oh, New York City. Yes, let's all go to New York City. Can't. Sorry. Um, use the circle. Okay. For exercises 12 and 13, use the map shown at the right. Circle the polygon that is a quadrilateral. Quadra. Like quattro. How many, how many signs in a quadrilateral, quadrilateral, how many, which one of those, A, B, or C, has quadrado? Um, use the city streets in the map to create a regular polygon. That's going to be a little tricky. You get to draw, you're going to have to fight, figure out a way to make a regular one, so it means that all the sides are the same. You have to combine a few couple blocks together to make that one. Um, number 14, explain why every square is a regular polygon. Draw and label a model to support your answer. Well, draw a square. Squares have the same sides, right? And they have the same angles. They always meet each other in the same way. It's kind of the definition of a regular polygon. Same sides, same angles. And let us look at the last one, 15. How can polygons be considered a subcategory of two-dimensional figures? Name another subcategory of two-dimensional figures. Woo! It's two-dimensional figures. What's two dimensions? You guys know what two dimensions are? Two dimensions are, it goes, you can, it, it creates the shape. Well, this are three dimensions. This cat is three-dimensional. It's got form. It's got... Height, width, uh, yeah, height, width, and length. Um, it has a body. It's, it takes it takes up space in the world. Um, takes up space right now. Getting pet. Um, so three dimensions are. It, it has um, length, width, and height. 
Two dimension is just length and width. It's flat. You can draw it on a piece of paper. Um, a piece of paper is not technically two dimensions because it does have some width to it. Uh, not very much though, not very much height. Um, but it is, um, uh, but do, do, do. yeah, what was the question? <laughs> I forgot the question. I just went off in two dimensions and three dimensions. Uh, polygons be considered a subcategory of two-dimensional papers. Subcategory. What's a subcategory? A category is um, category is clothes. Uh, uh, things that you have in your house. Category clothes. A subcategory would be shoes, pants, shirts. They are categories that belong to a bigger category. And so polygons are two-dimensional shapes that are uh, uh, two-dimensional figures. They're a category of two-dimensional figures, and they can be split up into different ones, right? Triangles, quadrilaterals, squares, rectangles, poly uh, pentagons. What's another shape? What's another two-dimensional shape that has no straight lines? Figure that one out. All right. Thank you. Bye.